Hey guys, uh, Gavin here, and today uh, is a video I've been looking forward to for a long, long time. Uh, this is the first video for the Burkle Chicago 2018 uh, mock. So last year was my first year that I went to a Lego convention, and it was Burkle Chicago, and I built, um, me and my friend built the uh, Operation uh, War Mantle. I have a video on my channel, uh, like the full video on it. And then I've got the update videos. I did it like three of them. I don't know how many I'm going to do for this one. It's not going to be a weekly update. Not going to be anything like that. Because um, I know it, everyone's sub feeds are probably flooded with different types of building X planet in Lego, which is fine. I'm just going to try to do it a little bit different and not have it as frequently. Just kind of make a video when I feel like there's been, made, had enough progress and I have time to make a video. So, yeah. Um, this one's going to be big. I think it's going to be. It's going to be this about the same length as last year, but more more detail, more parts will be added to it. And as you can tell, the long-awaited is going to be Clone Wars. I'm so excited to do Clone Wars. Um, yeah, so this is going to be epic. Um, I'm going to get into the overview, and then some prototypes, and then it just kind of it'll get going from there. So uh, yeah, let's get started. All right. So before I kind of show you guys what this whole thing's going to look like, I did get the first couple of orders in for this mock. Um, got some clone trooper stuff, more detail parts, some structural things, and then um, just plates, like 16 by 16 plates. Um, so, pretty much, I've actually got some work done on it um, since the last time I did the first segment on here where I just explained um, what's going on with the troopers and everything, that kind of first shot. Um, so I did some work on it, pretty much. Here's the whole entire thing, it's really messy right now, I had it all cleaned. Um, got distracted and started working instead of filming the next part of the video. So pretty much what's going to happen here is it's going to be the same size like as last year in terms of it's the same like white tables length except for it's going to be a lot more parts, a lot more pieces, a lot more details, uh, a lot more figs too probably. So pretty much starting off here in this back corner we don't know how big it's going to be but it'll be kind of a village area over here. So maybe from half, like from half, like this place, full base plate, up to half of that, and then I might come curl around like that. Have a couple of buildings, and that's where all the 212 guys will be. And then over here, we're not sure what we're gonna do yet. Um, maybe some trenches, fortifications, stuff like that. Um, a lot of this we haven't. I mean, we know what we want to do, but there are certain parts and areas that we're still um, kind of trying to figure out what we want to do. And as we move further along here, this would be a better example since I have some of it done. Um, the whole entire mock will be raised this high. I think this is 10, um, 10 bricks. So that'll be raised all the way along down to that other end. And then in between, some of the areas will have caves. So as you can see, we have one cave done right here. Starting on one of the main ones, that'll be right here. That's kind of one of the main points people to look at. And then we'll have another one somewhere along here that might go under the village. Um, stuff like that. So that's kind of, kind of an idea of Everything's going to be raised up 10, as with the 16 by 16 plates are for to cover most of the top. Same with the uh, those support pieces I showed earlier. Um, so yeah.
All right, guys, so um, my friend who's helping me on this collab came over, and we got a lot of work done. Well, I guess a good amount of work done for the build so far. And I've kind of laid out some more stuff to kind of help you guys visually see it, I guess, a little better for what the plan is, even though it probably still won't make sense, but it's whatever. So, yeah, um, I mentioned over here that we'd have a village area. This is kind of what it's looking like. Um, that's the outline, pretty much, so you would see where buildings would go roughly, and then intersections, not exactly all blocky like that. Um, there'll be different kind of alleyways and stuff. That's kind of the rough sketch of what the village will be, like where it will be at. And then we haven't decided, uh, or we haven't decided what we want to do yet with this part. And the big kind of thing we did is kind of laid all these plates. But first I want to go down here um, to this cave area where I kind of changed it up a bit. And it's almost done now, I'd say, for the rock work at least, not any of the ground detailing. Um, so yeah, there's a little door back there to make it seem like this leads back into you know, a bigger underground facility for the Separatists. Kind of something like that, maybe, not entirely sure. And then, so we'll have our shock troopers in here, and then Magna Guards and some lights, hopefully. We're not entirely sure how we're going to do that yet, but they'll be ambushed down here. Clones get ambushed by the Magna Guards. Pretty awesome stuff. Finish this over there, so it kind of seems like it might go back further, but it really just kind of ends back there. And then I added some stuff down over here. So that's kind of underneath right there. Not final yet. All this is, you know, could change. The main thing is right here. We started to lay all of our plates, the 16 by 16 plates down. So we filled this area over here, and we still need to cover all of it. Um, but yeah, this is what we got done so far. You've kind of seen a first look at how the terrain will look um, with some more rock structures like that. Um, this is kind of what it's going to look like, guys, for this first area. So this kind of terrain with the rocks I'll show you in a second. We'll go to maybe right here, and then starting right here, or it kind of fade out in between, you know, like, um, oops, like halfway through here, it'll start to transition into our next colors, um, which we think are going to be light tan mixed with dark tan, and then uh, sand green maybe. Um, yeah, so, and then some gray too, so light gray. That's where we think that transitional part will go, and that'll go until, you know, we get into the village. That's all later, but right now I wanted to show this off. Um, yeah. This is pretty much what we're looking at so far for some of the train work. Not finished really. Um, it's just kind of getting there. Different elevation changes. I don't know how easy it's to, like if you can see it on camera, but there are a bunch of elevation changes. Um, and then I'll just kind of go all throughout here. There's some more of the terrain work. And then there's some more, just kind of the rock work that I actually finished last night. And I think it looks pretty good so far. But that's pretty much what this is looking like so far, guys. Um, hope you guys are liking it. Got little patches done. Eventually we'll just get this front part done, but that's going to be a while. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the first episode. Like I said, this is a huge project, and don't know when it's going to be done. Uh, well, before I break Chicago, obviously, but don't know when the uh, episodes are going to come out. Probably not weekly. It'll probably just be uh, whenever I get them done. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you follow my Instagram for behind-the-scenes pictures because I post a lot on there, especially once I get start to get going on this build. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Lego Gavin. See you guys later. May the force be with you.